Okay, going, I'm going to I make the I'm going to make the um, eccentric. Should actually be made out of brass. If I didn't have any short pieces of brass, so I think I can get by with this aluminum. I think this is uh, 7075 T651, which is pretty hard, <coughs> which will work. Um, it's a little over 7 eighths diameter, so I am going to turn down the, a chunk on the end here to uh, 3 quarter. Turn, turn the power on to my machine here first. I, did, I disconnect the power to the machines just in case we have thunderstorms or, or a flash through the a spike through the power that I'm not hooked up. Alright, so anyway, it's hotter than blazes out and the wind is just howling outside, so, so I'm inside today. First I'm going to face the end off straight. There will be no hole going through the center. So that's all on it nice and, nice and flat. And then we'll take the cut on the outside here. There was a spot on the end of this that was uh, 7 8 so. Actually, anywhere between 700 and 750, I'll be that, that, that'll be fine because the end of the eccentric is is uh, about 730. So, uh, what do we got here? We have. 855. So, 20, 40, I'm going to take a 50 thou cut. I'm just going to take it back far enough for my part. I haven't been out here for a, quite a few days, so as you'll notice with the videos, I haven't put, posted any. Um, I'm gonna take another 50 thou. 20, 40, 50. That should be pretty close to what I want. Uh, I think I'm gonna, think I'm gonna take a twenty thou cut yet, and then that'll be good. That'll be good for the major diameter. Throwing the chips in the 
in my chip barrel. Take them back and recycle them. All right, so we're at 35 now, about approximately 34. Wow, that's, it's good. that's plenty good. Now, we need to turn a slip fit to this ID and we only want to go th the thickness of it plus maybe 5 or 10. So the thickness is uh, 30 so we'll probably go 40 thou. And it is 490. 490 and we have a 40, so I'm going to go up here and touch. I'm going to zero my travel dial. And we are at, we're at. It'll go, but it's a little snug. One, two, I'm going to go four more thou. I think that'll be okay right there. Yep. I'm going to call that good. It's got a little bit of a drag on it. But it's not much. And it'll it'll actually wear, it should wear in. You know what? It might be, I might have a tiny radius on that. So I might have to break this edge a little bit. I'm going to take my fur knife after it after the idea of this. And go around it. Just a slight chamfer on the inside diameter here. I don't want to bend it. <laughs> kind of hard to Let's see if that makes it a little bit better. Yeah, it's much better. It falls off now and it'll it'll drop and then fall off. Alright. So we can go over to the mill now. I'll put this in a 5C collet, stand it up, and then poke my holes for uh Um, poke my hole for the uh, 
crank and also the drive pin. <clears throat> Remember I said I'm going to make this so that it goes forward or back so it'll run one way and then or run the other way and accomplishing that is with a little drive pin that that drives it in one position and then you turn the flywheel the other way and the, the pin actually moves over 90 degrees so then it'll run in the opposite or 90? Uh, it's about 180 it's not quite and it'll run the other way anyway so anyway we'll hit the e-stop and take that out of there I'm gonna leave it in the collet and we'll get a I see call it block. Square one. Hit my five C call it block. And we'll stick it in there. And tighten it up. Then we'll come back to the lathe and then part it off when we're done with putting the holes in it. So my mill is still sitting with when I was working on uh, these the connecting rod and the uh, and, uh, camshaft rod. So the plate is still in there. Plate is still in there, so I can clean that up and take that off. I should, I should probably take those clamps off, or otherwise I'm going to be <clears throat> looking for them and going, where are they? I don't have an abundance of small clamps. In fact, I think I got four, and that's it. I had, I could have had many more if I would have just washed the trash can at work, and and uh, when I was working and salvaged them, they threw. You would not believe the things they threw away. And I'm sure they still do. I'm sure, they still throw stuff away that could be taken off and just reused. And they have no concept of saving a dollar. <laughs> Until it comes to raises, then oh, oh my god, we can't give you a raise. <sighs> eh, I'm glad I don't fight that battle. Alright. I think I'll take some of these parallels and set it down flat in there. Oh, I need to tighten that up a little tighter. Not quite tight enough. Snug it up a little more. <clears throat> I made this spanner wrench. Uh, these cob blocks, they don't come with a... <laughs> believe it or not, they don't come with a spanner wrench. So, so I went and made a spanner wrench for it. rather than take a punch and you know punch it punch the, the nut around it's silly it's silly that they don't come with one all right let's dial that in Favorite indicator. You know, in a rapid, it's supposed to be a better indicator, but I like this much toil better than the in rapid. I don't know why. It just seems like it's smoother. I don't know. The in rapid seems a little. 
not quite as smooth action as mixed oil. The old mixed oil. I don't know what the newer ones are like. No, I'm sure they're. I'm sure they're not as good as they used to be. Because this one here is is probably about 45 years old, <laughs> somewhere around in there. Had it many years. And a good indicator. All right, I'm going to go down here on this diameter to be turned. And we'll dial that in. Let's go over here first and get a reading. There's zero. This way. Bottomed it out when I didn't realize it. Zero. And come on out. Alright, should be a little closer now. And we are sitting at seven, so three and a half. Three and a half. Three and a half. Zero. Zero. Half a thou. Here I am dinking with a half a thou. <laughs> You know, I'm going to call that good enough. It's, with, it's within a couple of tens. <laughs> I, it doesn't have to be near that accurate. Uh, I would guess if you got it within ten thousands, it would be fine. All right. So now we have poked holes. And the drive hole was a 62, and then the crank hole was a 125. So we got to move over. We have to move over or out, whichever way. I think I'll just move out. Uh, 150 thousands. It's 300 thou stroke. That'll be an eighth inch. I'll get my small fuel chuck out. Okay, no green that. Center drill. in gear. Six would be even better. 
127. There's 125. One twenty six. Use that. All right. Shift in low. Shift about 150 the other way. Oops, went by it, went flying by it. There we go. So now that's the 62. I think I'm just going to drill that. Double, probably double drill it. Okay. Oh man, I was afraid of that. It felt like it was in and just. Man, that's the first time I've done that on this mill. I don't like that. Oof, God. I had that feeling. I had that feeling that it wasn't in. First time that I done that. That's not good for the gears. Don't want to, I don't want to do that because I don't want to have to tear that head apart. <laughs> oh, man. I guess from now on, when I'm shifting back and forth, I'll put a wrench on it. I just put my hand in and pull on, pull and push on the belt, and it felt like it was dropped in. I tried, matter of fact, I did it two or three times, but it just. I was wrong. Not good. All right, I got the two holes after that excitement. Remember, remember when I first started at work, you used to hear that uh, brr, three or four times a day at work <laughs> on the mills, plus leaving the wrench on. You know, they take take a collar out or something out and leave the wrench on, and then wham! As a matter of fact, I know a guy that busted the wrench twice. <laughs> Not good either. All right, let's take this out of the collet block. We'll part off the concentric. Don't do that. Oh well. Like I say, from now on, I think I'm going to put the wrench on there when I'm not convinced that it's in. So I should have done right away. I didn't. All right. Back over to Vegas. And we'll just park this off. There we go. And Yeah, 
92 thou part off blade in. I'll fix that one, leave that. One at 75. And then we want to go seventy five thou fifty, sixty, seventy five. Lock my carriage. Yep. Turn the power back. <laughs> There it is. So now I need to get the little tit off the other side naturally. I'll move, I'll move you over here to. I got down the surface plate here. So this, come on. I got just I just have a drill bit stuck through it for the paint, but I'm gonna see if I can nip that off and then file it off. I gotta find my little wire cutter. There he is. Let's see if I can nip most of it off and then grab a file and file it off. Or maybe a stone. A stone after it. Whoop. Take a stone after it. That's good. So now, this will have that pin in it, this right here, 62 thou pin, which will go into that slot. So, this will go like that. This will go like that. And this will go on here like this. And then it all rides up against there. All right, one step closer.